Now for the same project, let's just determine the quantity of cement. Okay, let's just determine cement. Now in order to determine cement, of course we need how much marshal we have in the same breath work. This is actually the, the good question, okay? So first we have to determine the quantity of mortar. Now remember, the quantity of mortar should be 30%, okay? And this is actually a dry mortar. 30% of the brickwork. So 30% of brickwork is actually 30 by 100. And we will just multiply this with the brickwork, which if you remember, it was just 373, okay? So this should be now approximately uh, 111 CFT mortar. Now from the same mortar, okay, this mortar actually contains two things. One is cement and another one is actually sand. Okay, so we have to multiply these two things and these can be determined uh, from the ratio. We have one ratio three. Now the sum up ratio, we have to determine it, okay? The sum up ratio, which is actually one plus three and that should be four. So this is what we need to determine these two materials. And even, let me just erase these things, okay? These things, uh, write a specific formula for this approach, okay? In order to determine the quantity of anything, quantity of material, you can say, you have to take the ratio of the material, okay? And you have to divide it by the sum of ratio. So it is like a formula, okay? And then multiply this thing, you can say this ratio with dry mortar. So now let's just determine the quantity of cement. Now the ratio of material, okay, just look at over here. The ratio of material, that is actually one in the same ratio. Because one ratio three means, what do you mean by one ratio three? One cement yes. one and three sand. Okay, so it's like the, the ratio of material, you can say, the ratio of mortar. One represent, it represents actually uh, cement's quantity and three represents the quantity of sand, okay? So we have to take the ratio of uh, material, which is actually one this time. And we will divide this by the sum of ratio. Now the sum of ratio that is actually four. And then we will multiply this with the dry mortar, okay? Or you can say the dry volume. And if you remember, it is just 111, so 111, okay? So if you just multiply 111 with one, that is the same thing, and then divide it by four, so you will have uh, 27, maybe CFT cement. But remember, cement is always, just you can say, bought in terms of bags, okay? We, we cannot demand it in terms of CFT, because bags are available in market. So we have to convert this into bags. Now, in order to convert uh, CFT into bags, okay, you should know the volume of one cement bag. Uh, and this can be different uh, according to your country's bag volume. Like maybe in Pakistan, it is 1.25 uh, CFT, okay? So you have to multiply this, I mean, divide this by 1.25 in order to get the quantity of cement in bags. And these should be approximately 22 bags. Next, we need to determine the quantity of sand. So you have to use the same formula, like maybe the ratio of sand, which is actually three, divided by the sum of ratio, which is four, and multiply it with the same thing, okay, which is the dry mortar. So this should be the quantity of sand, okay? And this is so simple, which should be 83 maybe, like 84 CFT sand. Okay, you can even convert this into sacras, which is actually like lo local unit, okay? So you have to uh, divide that by 100, okay? Which is almost like 0 0.8 for sacra. It is local thing, maybe like 100 CFT is actually one sacra, okay?